Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad, and today I'm going to be doing the first of the Wonder Beyond birthday series. There's five beers in this collection, and this one, the first one that they released, is Wonder Beyond and Pomona Island. This is an Imperial Stout with Meadow Sweet and Wood Rough, and this is 13% massive beer, but it's a Saturday and it's really cold, so it's okay. Uh, this one I got off their website. Um, they released the beers, they sort of did a build up to their birthday, which was a couple weeks ago now. Um, and I didn't think I'd get a chance to try them, because I thought they were just going to be on tap only, and if you missed it, you missed it. Because um, they were doing it in their tap room, of releasing the beers, they had all five of them on. You got to go and try them all. Um, I didn't get to go, or I, did, I just didn't go. Um, I didn't think they were going to release them, but it turned out on the Monday after the Saturday, um, so two days they released all the beers um, and I'm quite happy that I got a hold of them because I think they're sold out now if not then I wouldn't see why there's a lot left anyway there's five beers like I said all of them are collaboration with a brewer that I have had except one there's only one that I haven't had the other brewer from but I've had a, something from every brewer so far anyway um, this is the can art this one like I said it's called Silk and it is a bunch of moths. It looks quite nice, um, if you like moths. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice little thing. And it's got a little peel label sticker thing. So I'll peel that off, show you what it is. And then uh, we'll crack on. So. That is the birthday art, I guess you'll call it, if you will. Um, yeah, that's, that's sort of wrapped up the can. And then this is the actual can art that was released on the cans, or on the um, the tap label. And it was a couple of malt people trying to catch a moth. Um, anyway, yeah, it looks really nice. There's no hidden guff or anything on there, so I'm just going to close that up and uh, crack on with the review. It is a gold top as well, which is very nice, very smart. But yeah, let's crack it open and see what we've got, shall we? smoke off of that one all right so I'll pour the rest in a second so here we have our jet black beer with a nice dark tanned head looks really really nice let's get actually let me see if I can get an alcohol line yeah you can see if you can see that you can just about see it yeah Anyway, let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? I don't know what meadow sweet and wood rough is, so I'm just gonna try and find the comparison to what the smell is, and then see if I can find something that matches it. It smells like an imperial style. Um, roasted malts, roasted coffee, like ground fresh coffee, dark chocolate, it smells dark, bitter. There's a mild sweetness in there as well. Like a sugary sweetness, like a caramel or something. I'm not sure. It smells nice. Um, so let's get mouthful for body and car. Body, full bodied, carb next to non-existent there's a little bit there but it's very 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 fine very very light that's really really velvety and really smooth very nice so far so good let's get a big old taste cheers these are flavors i've not had before and they taste delicious um, there's bits of stuff I have had before in there, um, which I couldn't smell, but in the taste. So, I start off with that 13%, 13, very well hidden in the mouth. There's a nice coating of alcohol, it sort of numbs your tongue a little bit, uh, and then you get a nice warm feeling in your stomach as it goes down. You can feel the warm from the alcohol, just, it's very, very nice, especially in this weather, snow, minus something degrees, um, it's a very nice warm and drink 
um, for the flavour. You've got your roasted malts, but it's very, very mild. Um, but yeah, they are really mild. Same with the coffee. Both there, but very mild. Then there's... I'm going to guess it's the, the meadow sweet and the wood uh, wood rough. Because the stu this is stuff I've not had before. Uh, these are flavours I've not had before. And I can't really identify that it's there. Because I don't know it. But something is there that I've not had before. In a beer at least. And it's... Um, Best way to describe it, it's got this sort of spice flavour. Um, it's not spicy as in chilies, but spice as in cinnamon or pepper. Like, it warms your mouth up. Um, gives it a little tingle. It's very, very nice. It's, yeah, it's like have it's like cinnamon. Um, it's got a, a nice woody taste to it. Like I said, roasted malts are there, your coffee's there. There's a the hint of chocolate. It is relying on these these two flavours that I've not had before, but I think are really delicious. And like I said, the best way I'll describe it is by trying to compare it to something I have had. And cinnamon is the best way to put it. Like a cinnamon apple. It's got that spicy, sweet taste to it. Um, it's, it's the best way I can put it. It's got that, yeah spicy woody barky taste contrasting the, the apple the, the sweetness it's not apple it's not cinnamon but that's what you've got spice and wood and that kind of flavor with fruit and sweet well not fruit but sweet almost fruit like flavor it's very very interesting it's very nice i really like this i think it's a stunner of a beer i think wonder beyond and pomona island I've done a good job there. Uh, there's still some left in this. So, I think with that I'm going to go away and enjoy this beer because, like I said, it is very nice. It is vegan friendly. Um, I've just looked on the back, so there's no lactose in this. So it is a nice vegan friendly beer, which I think is lovely. Um, so, something there for you. So, Wonder Beyond and Pomona Island's Silk Imperial Stout um, with Meadow Sweet and Wood Rough. Oh, pardon me. Out of 10, I think I can't give it less than a 10. I think it's great. I think this is a good start to the birthday bundle. Um, I've, I have had a birthday bundle this year from Tiny Rebel. I wasn't really impressed. So I'm kind of happy I've got a good start to a birthday bundle at least. You know, nothing. I don't know. Bad. Uh, I'm going to do these in the way they were released, not in percentage order. So I think I'm starting with the strongest one. I might be working downwards. I'm not sure. Anyway. So that's getting a 10 out of 10. If you have had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it, if you don't. If you actually went to Wonder Beyond's tap room when they did these on tap for their birthday, let me know what that was like, because it was in Manchester, and I was really, really, really wanting to go, and just didn't, because trains and all that money. So, yeah. But let me know what that was like, if it was good, if it was a bit shit. If the beers, if you had the beers and you've had the cans, let me know if there's a difference in taste. Um, all that usual stuff. If you like the video though, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.